Hey guys, we're back, and I finally got to work on the house. And I'm pretty much done. I still need to do the desk down here and expand this display case. So I put some more decorations around, um, decorated the patios. So they're not so plain anymore. I'll have a crafting table here. And uh, ended up putting some planters in here with bushes. And then I completely redid this whole section. It's got the round like portal door here, which goes up to the staircases. This whole room is different. We took out the wall, the divider wall that was in here and separated these off and oh i forgot to put the paintings on that side oh we got a nice seating area here plant in the corner the bedroom only so much i could do in here there's too many glass but i think it turned out okay And then in this side, still got to put like carpet or something in here because it's a little plain, but it's got our crafting setup. A chest over here to put some lapis in when I remember. And then maybe I'll actually use my own house more. But uh, mostly done with my house now, so I'm happy for that. As for the other ones I've been working on, this one, I haven't done anything. I pulled all the glass out of it, actually. It's less done than it was before. I put the gravel in the sidewalk, but I decided I'm going to go with the uh, cyan glass, so i got to redo all that. So that's going to be a minute. Oh, I forgot to take the glass out up there, though. The other one, though, did make some progress. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There's way too many of those in the city. We're just going to pretend they're not there. And go in here and hide. So we got a little console thing going here. Yeah, I didn't make much progress in here. The... Uh, Kitchen got a new ceiling. I'm not totally positive I like it, but it hides the lights. They stuck down, and without these here, you can see the edges. Oop, I broke something upstairs. So, uh, yeah, they were originally like that. You can see the edges, so I had to kind of block them off. We'll see. But upstairs, did I pick up a carpet? Yep, that's what I broke. Spider somewhere. Probably on the roof. I don't think I lit up the roof of this place. Oh, well, he's in here. Very good. Means we need more lighting in here. I think I broke the torches when I was making stuff. And never put them back. But he did make this entertainment center area. Had to change the railings a little because they stuck out too far. So they don't have the big overhang like they used to. But, I mean, there's still a good balcony there. Got the two chairs and a sofa here. Watching the big TV with the entertainment center speakers all around. Making everyone across the street jealous. Hi. And I put curtains on the windows back here since all you can see in them is the back of the TV. That might be actually all I accomplished on here. But we're making progress. I do need to check the roof and make sure there's no lighting. I think these are slabs, so it shouldn't be an issue. 
I think that was why there isn't any. Yeah, so I just broke a torch when I was uh, moving stuff around here. This section over here should be okay with lighting. There's some sea lanterns under here, and there's a couple under, like, under there. I think it's under that one and that one. But. This part over here, I definitely need to do something. I'm going to put some hanging lanterns up there, and some kind of chandelier, maybe. But. Made a little bit of progress. Most of it was on my own house so far, but I'm going to try and finish up at least this one and uh, maybe get into doing something on that other one. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, I did a little bit of landscaping outside too. Nothing major. But yeah, we'll uh, get back to working on it and see if I can't finish this one. And while off building, I had a couple of visitors stop by. Two different people. With two different uh, gifts, I guess you would call. The uh, first one is a pass it on puffer fish. I'm going to have to find someone to give that to. I'll, I'll pass it along. And the second was a shop at Sandbox advertisement. That's going in a mailbox somewhere. But it's just funny to be out doing things and have people randomly stop by. I also made the trek over here at one point, and I don't know why, but we're gathering quite the zoo of creatures. So we might have to do something about this. I think it's just because of the planes. As soon as we get some uh, buildings built in here, I don't think we'll have the issue, but uh, yeah. In the least, I hate skeleton horses, so we'll be getting rid of those. And uh, maybe we'll find a home for the cats and dogs, but that's a lot of crap. And several hours later, I've got one of the two houses done. This took a lot longer than I thought it would. And kind of run around and show you. Oh, got a decent living room here. What was that? I'm still not sure what to do with this area back here. I put some lights in it for now, so it lights up these windows at night. But uh, I think the living room came out okay. And these and the two big windows. In the kitchen, I really didn't change much. I think I removed a panel up here so these lights kind of shine on those pictures at night. <clears throat> that looks pretty cool on there. You put a ceiling light in here. Up here, we got a couple hanging lights in the stairwell. And then we have the living room here. Didn't change much on this side. I think I added the lights. There's some lights in the back corners there. I did change this for some reason. I had this pillar on this side. And this side went glass all the way back, so I added that pillar so those lights are more symmetrical. And then we got more hanging lights in the stairwell. Might drop that one down one more. Let's see. Added lights up here in the tops of the little balconies on both sides. And then our bedroom. A nice dresser. I forgot the lamp. I gotta get a thing for the top of that lamp. The bed here. In fact, let me see. I've got so much crap on me now. How bad does that look? That's not too bad. I think we'll keep that. Oh yeah, so we got that there, and then out here, I changed this up a little bit. I think I'm going to do the garden thing on the other one. So out here, I just went with a simple sitting area, and this walks all the way around, mainly because I hate when the glass attaches to it. And then grill here, and then these have grates in them now. Plant there. The only downside is I have the grill. I don't have a table out here. I couldn't manage to squeeze one in without pushing these all the way back. 
but I think it's fine. And then some lighting. But yeah, that took way more than I expected. Oh, and I changed the back slightly from the original because I needed flat walls. I ended up taking out these windows. I don't think anybody's going to notice, and it gave me some flat walls to work with. I put way too many windows in things. But yeah, the only thing that's left on this one is the finishing touch. If I can figure out which... I never pay attention to what I put things in. There we go. So we put this in. This is the last step I do on every house. And what? Uh, I don't even know what street this is. This Hickory Lane. Do we want this to be the start? And we'll do this as the start. We've done odd numbers on that side. So this is going to be one Hickory Lane. And then... Done. That's one more house to add to our completed list. And as with all of them, I always take a screenshot. The post in the uh, city discord. But with that out of the way, I want to go dump all these shulkers of my house building materials. We still have this little guy in our inventory, so we're going to go do something about that. And we also have some flyers for the store that we're going to go pass out, as well as checking on the store stock and restocking. He's putting something in there, some kind of cactus farm. That is a huge cactus farm. You're going to lag everybody out. That is a lot of cactus. Oh, uh, we're going to run down here. I never checked my mailbox. I never check my mailbox. I'm terrible. Somebody left the door open. My spam folder. Oh, I have something in there. Of course. So we're going to do the same. And spam everybody's mailbox. Just the people in the city. I'm not mean enough to do everybody. I don't even know if anybody ever checks these anymore. He's got all sorts of stuff in there. I don't know what the ender pearls are. There. I don't think Shard has a mailbox yet. Hmm. We have one extra. I'll have to go do something with that. I think our best bet to find someone is to chill out at the hub. Of course, there's a lot of people on in the city right now, too. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see who's at the hub first, then maybe we'll come back. Oh, I see people. I don't know who this guy is. Way over here, too. That's Khan. Hey, Khan. I'm going to bet she's AFK. I tried to say hi. You're AFK. I'm leaving. Oh, she's not AFK. Who's that? Um, Zoomy. <laughs> I have chat turned off so you can't see if he said anything. We'll give this guy our ad. <laughs> There's Aqua. Hey Aqua. 
Thank you again for the care package. I know you can't hear me. And somebody just randomly gave me cookies. Nice. Anyway, we're going to get back and try to finish that other... Oh, no, wait. I was going to go restock the store. Then we're going to go back and get back to working on the other house. I've had to look up ideas. I totally ran out of ideas for interior on those. Oh, we have a new neighbor across the street. Where he's actually started building something. I think he's actually just started building something. I think it's the same person. We'll go there and check our shop. I still haven't put the beacon in here. I think I am going to buy one and stick it in there. I think it'll look cool, but no matter of getting one. Oh, we made some sales. Not bad. Not bad at all. Huh. I can't math. Let's see what we got over here. Over there. Not bad at all. Let me check the iron. Wow, iron's flying off the shelves here. That's a diamond block. Yep. Just making sure. So... That's 55 diamonds. Not bad at all. And I put everything back because I didn't want to bring all my stuff with me, including the shulker that has the stock to restock the store. There we go. These are restocked again. I actually make more money off those, so I'm going to restock those first. Oops. Just shy of restocking these, but I got full chests and a half here. And then iron, we need to go get some more iron because I ran out to restock these, but I got a few blocks back in here. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Seven, yeah, seven stacks of blocks in there. And then another uh, four bundles in here because these are three, three stacks for a diamond. So we'll definitely have to go and spend some time farming iron but i dropped that i must have picked it back up oh yeah and i have my ad that somebody gave me in there but yes yeah, six six blocks and a diamond not bad for one day i'm curious if anybody posted anything in these I'm waiting for people to drip drop notes in these because there's no stock in them yet i am looking at putting sticky pistons in there that's going to be a, a new thing soon. And uh, work on getting this beacon in. I got to buy a beacon. But yeah. That's some decent profit. We'll go put this stuff away and get back to working on the house. I think he just tossed me back the puffer fish. Hey, give it back. Alright. Well, I'm going to get back and work on the other house and see if I can't find somebody else to pass this off to. Our magical's sleeping over here in his house. I'm hoping we can't sneak over there and drop off our fish. And a little mail for him. Somebody opened up the secret. No! Can't read the other signs because it's too dark. I'll have to come back with a torch. Okay, 
in daylight, he's gonna get up. Oh, he locked the door. Untrustworthy. Back door locked too? Back door is not locked. How do I get upstairs? I've never actually been in here. There he is. Give him one of those. One of those. Goodbye. <laughs> Go back and see what that sign said. I'm going to steal one of these. Put it back when I'm done. I can't believe they broke that and left it there. That back. We'll put the torch back. There we go. All right. Back to working on the house. Oh, Madrigal woke up. <laughs> did he say anything? I don't think he did. So I was on my way back to put the beacon into the store, like I said I was going to, and I came across this. And. That's probably one of the coolest stores I've seen in the district. Owned by Project Tomo. And you come in, and it's just a really cool aquarium. And on top of selling... Um, The Heart of the Seas and the uh, Conduits, Tridents. They also sell services to uh, build aquariums, which is pretty cool. Kind of puts mine to shame. I'm disappointed now. Anyway, I just wanted to share. And they even have big Trident logos on the top, too. Cool place. Anyway, while we're here, this door is new, too. I don't think it's open yet. So run back over. Something's getting built there. That's new. Or they tore something down. We go in here. I need to steal some iron out of the chest because I don't have quite enough. We'll be replacing this all soon, so. Uh, oh, we can turn it on for what it's worth. And then we put the glass in. We want to put one on the bottom too. There we go. That did it. Now we should have our giant green beacon to mix in with everybody other else's beacon. Completely unneeded, but Entertaining nonetheless. I 
should shine straight up through. When did they make beacons transparent on the inside? They used to be colored on the inside, so when you got inside of them, you were completely blind. That's new. Hmm. But yeah, it goes right up through the whole store. And out the ceiling. Had to put one green block in the ceiling, though. That looks kind of weird, but otherwise, whatever color I put there is what color the beam would have been, so... I had to make a sacrifice. You know, I should check this top chest just to see. I'm waiting for someone to leave me a message somewhere. Anyway, that's one more thing on the to-do list done. Back to building houses. So close to getting the half of the suburbs done. So. so I stopped back in here and finished fixing this. So it now has proper carpet in here. As well as some other crafting tables. Going to need this one soon enough. Oh, and it's raining on milk. Surprise. But I think this place is officially done now. Uh, he also... Where is it? It's back in the way I just came. I need to remember to actually plant stuff out on the balcony here. Totally forgot that little garden was there. But, I'm gonna go try to sleep off this storm. If that's ever gonna happen. And finish up that other house. And I almost forgot the downstairs here. I only did put in a proper desk here. Complete with the computer. And I moved the grandfather clock over here. But at the same time, I think due to an issue, they're going to be taking out these mini block head things here soon. So I didn't mess with the case like I was originally going to. I don't think we need that torch. But, uh, yeah, so I haven't messed with this yet. It's probably going to go for something else if they get rid of those. If not, I'll make it bigger. But I redid these here to cover some lighting that got put in the wall. Can't really see, but up there behind those. So I could get rid of the last couple torches in the house as well. So, yeah. It's officially done now. Oh, I gotta put arms on the chair still. Every time I think I'm done. But uh, then we'll be done here. And move on. I'm gonna put some grates over these lights too. It's never finished. It's taken me pretty much all day, but I finally did manage to finish the last house that I was planning on today. And pretty happy with the way it came out. Got a... Uh, Four Elm Street here, put the gravel walkway. The only thing I don't like here, the bushes stop because of the trim around the house, but meh. I may do some more landscaping outside. Still messing around with that. But on the inside, have a little reading area over here, bookcases. Actually have some books. Could I swap them with a player written one, I think, eventually, but for now, this um, little living room area. I don't know if I showed this kitchen before, but uh, I like the pantry stuff. I wish you could put more stuff on the shelves. Get the kitchen with the Furnaces and everything in here. Should check those out for smokers, to be honest. Uh, I came up with something for this little. I did the same thing I did in the other one. Put the lights here. And a um, little table set here. Not that you have much of a view. 
This is the only thing I don't know if I'm happy with, the double lights here, but I do like the lights in the floor because they shine right up this glass pillar, which is the hub of our spiral staircase. And our second floor here, a little lounge area with a big fireplace. And this goes into the bedroom, which I know I showed this. Oddly enough, it wouldn't let me dye pants black. I tried to make that a matching set and something with the knee pads and whatnot. More of a brown than black. Torso armor came out okay. But I moved these and uh, there's lighting behind those now to get rid of all the torches in here. Upstairs again. And we have a little like bar area, shelf here, two little bar seats. This is what I do want to do to those chairs back at my main house. We have a bar here with our cups in the back. A nice view out over the uh, suburbs out this window. Starting to work on the airport over there as well, I noticed. This big building going up. They put a fence around the uh, nuclear reactor. Always good to have some security. And then out here on the porch, there are little lounges that overlook the airport so you can sit here and watch the planes take off. And then our picnic area here. Their garden, oddly enough, the picnic area is out in the rain and the plants and garden is under the overhang. I think I did that backwards, but it wouldn't exactly fit the other way around, I don't think, because I have to leave the space. Well, I might see if I can flip that around, we'll see, but it looks better back there. It just doesn't make much sense to have the table out in the rain and that under the cover. I do love the fact that you can see through that window to that big art display. I didn't even think about that when I built this place. But yeah, that's another house done in the suburbs. Pretty happy with the way this turned out. Oh, and there's lights up there too. They shine down through the glass. And like I said, the ones down there shine up through. The only thing I might change is I might pull this one out here. We go up and look. We've got this whole side's pretty full now. Every lot down this street is done now. The one on the end. And then almost every lot on that outside edge of this. I got three more on the inside. It's three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'd say. I think I counted them before, but just double checking. And now uh, I might work on one of these big ones next. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it here or on the other side, though. I have plans, but I don't know if I can squeeze it in here. This is what I was counting out. Uh, this was where the old plot line was. I think I need to come past this. Which leaves this weird corner over here. This one's already got to come over. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put here yet. I may hold off on this one and fill in some of these other ones. I've got a couple ideas I want to do. I want to do another stone one, but I don't want to put it next to this one. So that might go down here on the end. Of course, I think this one's got stone in it too, doesn't it? Yeah, that one's got stone too. Maybe we'll put it here. I might look into putting it here. We'll have to see if it'll fit. 
haven't counted these plots yet. I should have when I when I made them, I should have counted them and stuck a sign there with the with the dimensions because you know I'm, you know how many times I've recounted these lots. But yet, suburbs are coming along. Hopefully, I can get back into the swing of doing a house or two a day. Oops. Boy, I suck at landing on this thing. And uh, we did remove all the animals over here. There's a bunch of cats. Cats everywhere. I kind of want to trap them all in a house and build a crazy old cat lady house here. If they're still around when I go to do that, I might do that and start naming them. I don't have any raw fish to uh, bribe them with. They don't like cooked fish. So I gotta go get some of them and tame a bunch of them. But anyway, we've done a couple different things, accomplished the two houses I was looking to get done and finished my house. So that's a big accomplishment that I was looking to do in this video. So I think we're going to call it there. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.